safety equipment. I always wear a hard hat in the, the workshop because I can knock into various different things if I'm getting into the cab, you know, things like that. So I, I love to wear it. I wear all the time. I actually got a piece of uh, spark in my eye when my cornea I had to go to the doctor. Gloves, both for heat and for like when some heavy object falls on you, they actually protect quite a bit. Definitely wear that. Working with these heavy machines here, you definitely need steel toed boots. If this thing falls on you, this shoe can per perhaps save you. But our policy here is never to jack things up because they can fall. So what we do is we work on things on the ground and lift them up right here as needed with a hoist. So for welding, you want to have, uh, so that's a big part of what we do here. You want to have full bodied clothing because that's really intense solar radiation. It's high intensity UV light, even right here. If you don't have a mask across your whole face, you're going to get burnt right there. Gloves everywhere. Spatter gets on you, so you want to have full bodied clothing. I always say, okay, bring work clothes, bring full, body, full cover. Like that means sh no shorts because there is uh, the UV from the welding will also get on you. One thing about welding, if you let go of a lot of uh, welding wire, don't leave this as a trip hazard. Roll it up nicely like this. That's one thing we definitely want to do here. And that's about it for safety. Uh, one, one more thing, there's um, ears. Uh, we do wear, wear ear protection because grinding and most of the abrasive work, we run the power cubes in here. It's all loud noise. Banging on metal is very loud noise. Uh, but also no MP3s because uh, <laughs> you want to hear sound clues such as a gas leak or a drip or something that's squeaking so that you can react to it. If you're listening to music in a workshop, that's actually dangerous.